Yo, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back, or thanks for tuning in. If this is your first time here, you will not be disappointed. Today, I'm going to be unclogging a drain in my sink. Uh, the reason we're doing that is because it smells bad coming out of there, and the water's draining a little bit slower, right? And third reason, I can't make it to any of the fish MSG shows, so I'm just going to shoot some videos, you know, and be productive while we're here. We're going to try a new approach, and I want you to put something in the comments whether or not you like it. Uh, instead of me talking while I'm doing the work, I'm just going to shoot the video, do the work, and do a narration over it. So yeah, in the comments, let me know after this video, after you watch it, if you like the old way of doing it where I just talk through the whole thing, or if you like this new version where I narrate over it, all right? But Here's the sink. There's your drain right down there. Now, some drains, you can turn counterclockwise and unscrew them and come right out, okay? That's not the case with this one. For these, uh, a lot of sinks, you're gonna have to go underneath the sink and take a look down here, go to the back, all right? And however yours is set up, you're gonna have to remove all of this right here, the lever and the stopper right here, and then you can pull out the drain. Don't forget to get your bucket to catch any water, okay? Let's put your bucket underneath the trap you're gonna reach back and find the little clip here that's holding on the lever that gets your drain to go up and down. And you're gonna remove that part first, all right? Uh, once you pop that piece off, put it somewhere so you don't lose it, because it is kind of tiny. Uh, afterwards, you're just gonna go into that lever, uh, the stopper right here, counterclockwise, unscrew it, pretty basic stuff. Uh, when you take this piece out though, give it a little bit of a cleanup. Uh, I, I always like to put things back a little bit cleaner than when I started. And then you're gonna have your drain right here, your plug. Uh, that thing's pretty filthy as well. So you're going to clean that up. And then this is what you're working with, everybody. All right. Looking like Jerry Garcia's arteries right there. All right. So now we're just going to take the trap off. Okay. Screw it off. Uh, really pretty simple. And then you're just going to screw off the other part. Again, really basic stuff here. You don't need any tools. Do not use any tools. Uh, you're going to have some water coming out. So your bucket will catch that. And you just pop it off. And as you can see here, uh, there are three ladies that live in my house and me, and you can already see the hair that is in that drain. And you can also see the residue caught up inside of the trap right there, all right? So if you wanna wear some gloves for this, that's up to you. Um, but yeah, let's take a look at what we're working with now, all right? Man, oh man, Liver King's arteries probably look like that. So now, what we're gonna do now to kind of push it out of the drain. This is a, a method I devised. I just get an old dish rag, right? And I take that uh, part of that stopper and I just shove it right down through here. Now, stand by people. Things are about to get pretty gross coming up. Uh, not for the faint of heart. Oh man. Listen up. Ugh. It's pretty funny how I just missed that one too. Oh man, this is so gross. Oh, sound on. Oh. Uh, gross. So yeah, just, uh, you know, punch it through and you'll see what comes out. All right. But hey, looking like pretty clean here. Uh, much cleaner arteries, right? So now we just take the trap, go over to your tub and just run some water through it. And then you're just going to take that rag, same way you did it prior with the drain. You're just going to push that thing through. It's going to come out the other end. Hopefully, uh, once you get it out that other end, check it out. You're just going to pull it through again, a little bit gross, but you know, life goes on. I've seen worse. All right. And then just clean the end of that pipe up as well. Like I said, just leave it cleaner than when you started. Uh, your trap's only going to go on one way. Okay. So if it doesn't fit, you obviously have it on backwards. So put it on the right way and just screw it back on the opposite way you unscrewed it again do not use any tools for this job your hands are sufficient and also you should probably move the bowl uh, the bucket out from underneath because that is pretty disgusting in there uh, but yeah just hand tighten this and you should be good to go now we have to connect the the plug to this lever right here okay so what you want to do is put your plug assembly together uh, without the clip on the back, all right? Hop up top, drop the plug into place, make sure it's facing the right direction so that your lever can catch it. And what you're going to do then is you're going to have to secure this piece on eventually, right, to the strap in the back. So I just put the clip on right now so I have it in place so I know where it is. It's not a pain in the butt to try to find while I'm crammed into this location, right? Uh, so then I screw this into place. All right, get it nice and secure. 
It's gonna make it easier to work with when you're connecting the strap in the back as well. All right, so you get it nice and snug in there. Again, no tools for this part, right? Just use your, your fingers. All right, so now what you're gonna do is you're gonna pop that clip off. All right, you're gonna kind of line up where you want things to go uh, with the clip and that strap and your lever, all right? You're gonna put the first part on of that clip. All right, once you get that on, you're gonna secure the strap on whatever hole you want it on. Now you're gonna come around with the other part of that clip and you're gonna fasten that in the back. And once you get that on, it's gonna create some tension and it's going to hold that into place so that when you move that lever up and down, in theory, your drain plug should go up and down, as you can see here, all right? So we'll get a little closer. All right, you see that? Uh, the strap's out of the way, but you can see that it's going up and down. And I'll verify it up here, right? Just pulled the plug, pulled it down, went up and down. We're looking good to go there. We're going to run some water through here, make sure there are no leaks uh, from any of the points where it connects, right? So we're good to go here. We're good here. We're good here. And then look at the stopper as well, all right? Uh, check to make sure there's no leaks from there. And we look to be good to go as well, all right? All right, so that's it. Not too difficult, does not require any special tools, just half a brain cell, a little bit of elbow grease, and being able to contort yourself to fit back there and see what's going on. Uh, that second camera really helps, all right? Uh, if you have any questions, drop them in the comments. Also, make sure to comment, did you like the voiceover or do you wanna go back to where it's just me talking to the camera? I can do either, I'm down, all right? Uh, and last, you know, make sure we're being kind to each other out there. Take care of the little guy. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.